Hey folks, I get a lot of requests about how to build an electrolysis tank, so I wanted to put together a short video to show you exactly how I do that. As far as I'm concerned, the electrolysis tank is one of the best methods you can use to clean all the rust and old carbon off of a cast iron pan. It's completely non-destructive and will pretty much strip the pan down right to the raw iron. Look at how it works in our see-through electrolysis tank. In simplest terms, electricity is used to remove rust and baked on carbon from cast iron. It's not abrasive, preserves all the original details like logos and ghost marks. It's hands-free and does not harm or alter the raw iron in any way. But because not everybody has an aquarium at home to use and I don't really recommend it, let's start by using a 55 gallon drum. First thing you wanna do is fill it up with water. We use just regular tap water. This is a big drum and we wanna make sure we can fit in sort of our griddles and our larger pans. So we're gonna fill it up with about 25 gallons of water, about halfway. After that, what you wanna to add to build your electrolyte is some sodium carbonate. That's also known as washing soda. What I like to do is we use about a half a cup of the sodium carbonate to five gallons of water. Then we give it a good stir. And now we need the anodes, which some people refer to as sacrificial steel. This is steel that is going to, in the electrolyte, collect all the carbon and rust buildups going to be attracted to that. One thing with uh, using sacrificial steel is you want to make sure that you can cover as much surface in the electrolysis tank as you can. Here, as you can see, we're using rebar and what we've done is we've cut it into pieces and we're spreading it around the circumference of the container and just securing them into place. We're also tying them together with some copper wire so we only have to put the positive charge on one and that charge will carry through to the other pieces. We're pretty much ready to go. We've got our pan. This is a nice old crusty one we found at a flea market. And now we're gonna give it a bath. Hook it up to a piece of wood with a hook. Place that into the tank. Then we get our charge going. Don't forget, we put the positive onto the sacrificial steel and the negative, you can see we're attaching to a bolt there. That goes to the pan. We have our manual battery charger, power on. You can see it bubbling away almost instantly. That means it's working. Okay, so I'm not a scientist and I'm sure others can explain this much better than I can, but to help illustrate or visualize what's happening, we did build a clear electrolysis tank using a glass aquarium. It's not something I recommend, especially when you're putting heavy cast iron pieces in, but when we were filming this, we just thought it would look really cool and I think it does because you can actually see the rust lifting away from the cast iron, the carbon coming off, as if the pan is actually de-aging in real time. The electrical current, you can see, is stripping away the iron oxide from the pan, and it's carrying it across to the rebars. Over time, that rust will come off completely, and you will actually have a bare raw iron surface behind without damaging the pan. It's just clean. Lots of people talk about wanting to do sandblasting or wire brushing or putting it in a very, very hot oven to burn all this stuff off. Not things that I do. I'm not skilled to do sandblasting. For some of these vintage pieces, cast iron is not indestructible. Putting it at too high a temperature can warp it or break it, so I don't like putting it in the hot oven. But this process we know is harmless. It's very easy to set up, and you can just really, really see how well it works just by watching it through this uh, clear tank. And after 24 hours, you can see how much crud has come off. You can see the deposit at the bottom of the tank there. You can see it's still working away, all the bubbles. But once you disconnect the power and remove the connectors, we'll pull the pan out and you get a good idea of actually how clean it is. Look at all the debris still falling off. And this is a different pan than we had in the other uh, tank that we built. But just to give an example, this one was just as cruddy when it went in. And something that's scrubbing won't take off, you can now just remove with your hand. Both sides, backside itself too, is super clear. 
didn't really touch this with anything yet, just the electrolysis tank. This pan is spotless. Anyway, there's our other tank still going. Really just wanted to show how easy it is to build an electrolysis tank. You just need a tank or a barrel, a piece of wood, some steel, a manual battery charger, some washing soda, water, and patience. Have fun with it and uh, clean that iron.